Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today I've got for you the Spec 5 Voyager. It is a solar-powered mesh-tastic node. You can tell by that little tiny antenna, it means some serious business. And it is magnetic. And the thing that makes this mesh-tastic node different than other mesh-tastic nodes is that this one here is a relay, which is the fancy new word for repeater. Let's get over to the workbench and take a look at this thing. But before we get over there, I got some special guests and we took this thing out on some really rugged road in some weather and it did really well. So check this out too. Pretty slick. Yeah. I'm glad they redesigned it. Shoot, see all the shit they were getting from yeah. the prototype. Wow. My, my lovely hand model here. That's right. <laughs> yeah, these look great. Morning boys. Morning. All right, we're going to have a little bit of glare off of the solar panel. There's not much I can do about that, but that right there is the heart of it. The solar panel actually makes up the frame, which is really slick. And then they have bolted on some magnetic feet and a custom 3D printed design here in order to house all the mesh-tastic stuff. Let's see. These, uh, these guys here, you can kind of see it. Well, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six little magnets in there and six little magnets in there. And they do that, that old fashioned magnet trick where there's like a, a metal case with the magnets in them. So then the metal case is also magnetized. But what I wanna do is I wanna get this thing opened up. And since this is solar powered, that means there's a battery in there, which means I really can't take the antenna off because this thing is transmitting. But that might actually help out with the glare a bit. So I'm gonna get my handy dandy screwdriver kit out here and find the right type of screwdrivers to show y'all what is inside of this thing. Because besides the case looking super sexy, I'm sure it looks super sexy on the inside and we kind of want to see what the guts are. All right, that's the right size. When we were at the campsite, we tried to get into that and we couldn't get it open. So y'all don't get to see that, but that's the, the solar charge controller that creates the USB output power. So this guy here outputs 7.8 volts open circuit, but it's designed to do about 6.2 volts, which is good for being a battery charger. And one of the things that comes out of here is a USB plug, which is probably what this wire here is. And this other one is the six volt plug. So you've got one regulated and you've got one that is kind of, you know, typical of solar panels where it just, it gives you whatever it can give you up to its max. And when I put these back on, I'll be sure and go in that crisscross pattern so I don't create a warped cylinder head type situation. I know you guys were gonna look out for me in the comments with that, but I just wanted to let you know, I got it. I'm on top of it. There we go. So there is your battery that almost looked like it was wet, but they do have a little gasket in there. So I wonder why that looks like it's wet. Huh, interesting, maybe it's just some I don't know. I, I can't even speculate as to what that is. But there's a little gasket in there to keep it from getting water inside. And we did take this thing out in the rain and it is pretty dry. So there is our USB power cable, which comes in over here and plugs in. This is our battery cable, which goes over here. There is a USB-C port there. So you can do some programming, but you can do programming with this thing over the wire. Bluetooth antenna, GPS antenna. And then this here is your regular antenna that comes out for here and then let's take a little zoom in here oh oh and then we need to switch over and wrong direction go that way and look at this amazing camera work you'd think i you think i'd know what i was doing with the camera by now actually it's just that this thing is slow to change okay so there is our zoom in and this is a rack 4630. And I have a video on building these guys here out where it'll tell you all the different components you can put on this for all the, the different things. So one of the things that you can upgrade this with through the whiz block technology from rack that I would like to see on here is a temperature sensor. Cause I would love to know the weather where my repeater is stationed. So we're gonna put this thing here back together. So here's where it gets pretty cool. The solar node, the, re the relay here, has been charged up one day a week ago, and the battery is still holding, and all of the, and all of the GPS satellites, I'm inside a metal clad RV, I've got aluminum siding all over the outside of it. I am still getting GPS indoors. So the GPS receiver is really good in this. The battery life is fantastic in this, and 
We used it all day long and it was fantastic. I've got a 5% off discount code for you in the description down below if you click the link and if you are interested in one of these or any of the other products that Spec5 has and they have a ton of different things. Spec5 specializes in Mestastic gear. So if you wanna get a Mestastic node for flying on top of your drone or you wanna get one for seeing where your dog goes when you let it outside to roam, then those are options for you. They also have the T-Deck a model similar to the T-Deck, they call it something else, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So be sure to check out the website and save that 5% when you go over there. And for those of you like me that have an aluminum truck now, this mag mount won't stick to it, but they are coming out with a rail mount as well, so you can unscrew the magnetic feet and screw in the rail feet instead and use it on something else. But we're hams. We can figure out how to get this thing mounted if that is your jam, if you want to have this thing mounted outside. One of the really cool things about this is that they actually thought about it. It's got this little ramp on the front to direct the wind up and over instead of directing the wind underneath and lifting it up as you're driving down the road. So we didn't have any problems with it. We went out on the million dollar highway. We went on the last dollar road. We went on a couple of other big name, big fancy places around here that were both paved and unpaved and elevation changes and highway speeds and all that jazz. And, and she just stuck. So it was fantastic. The unobtainable national forest is definitely unbeatable. What do you do with something like this? This is a way to keep in contact with your caravan while you're out riding around town. If you wanted to send text messages back and forth, get it at the height of your truck, whereas some other repeaters, relays are put up as high as you can possibly get them and are left stationary. This one is designed to be taken with you. So that's what we did. We took it with us. And there was a group of us that were camping out that were all hams and mesh-tastic lovers and we really enjoyed using it. So I want to say thanks to Spec5 for sending this thing out for our use during the trip. And be sure you check out the links in the description down below. On your way by there, there is a subscribe button. I sure would like it if you click that subscribe button. We are halfway to the goal and the year is half over. So that's pretty cool. You can help if you're not already subscribed. I have a bunch more Meshtastic videos. Check out this playlist over here if you'd like to see all of those. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.